Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you a Poison Imbutment Focus build. And I am actually absolutely loving it. I feel it's a very well all-rounder build. It can clear dungeons super fast and it can also defeat bosses super, super fast. Now, how does this build work? Well, the, works, the, the build uh, focuses mainly on one specific aspect and then all the other aspects complementing such aspect to make it even stronger right so which aspect i'm talking about the aspect of bursting venoms so the aspect of bursting venoms works with lucky hit chance and critical strike chance therefore your main two stats that you want to focus on your items is going to be critical strike chance so you want to have you want to have a high critical strike chance and a high lucky hit chance and for that we're also going to look at our abilities to see which ones and uh, which passives complement these two stats but before we move on to that area let's look at our aspects that we're going to need so aspect of bursting venoms uh, makes it so when you critically strike somebody with a lucky hit, hit uh, with uh, while using a poison imbued skill that's the complicated part right you have up to 10 percent chance to create a toxic pool that deals poisoning damage over three seconds but here's the catch while standing on that pool poison imbuement has no cooldowns and no charge limits therefore imagine when you get that pool and you also have your specialization that is inner side at the same time then you're basically spamming your twisting blades with poison imbuement non-stop and you just become an absolute monster like just there's so much poison imbuement stacking over and over and over again and it's absolutely insane there's no boss that can handle it i am certain that this build is gonna absolutely demolish uber lilith now with that being said, let's talk about the complementary aspects, right? So obviously we want to take Blade Dancer aspect. We also want to take uh, two very interesting aspects. One being a sacred, uh, um, sorry, a sacred uh, unique item, which is called the Ash Ashiara Kanyar. So this ancestral unique dagger it makes it so when you hit with this weapon it increases your attack speed by five percent all the way up to 25 percent but why do we want this well because the faster we can attack the faster we can uh, uh, you know attack with our twisting blades the more stacks we can do when these effects are going on another core aspects that, that we want to have is the accelerating aspect that when you um, get critical strikes with the core skills which twisting blades is your course uh, your core skill your attack speed increases by 25%. In this case, I got lucky and I got 25%. So between these two, you end up having almost 50% increase attack speed, right? So it, that's just insane. You can already imagine how you're just bo -bo -bo attacking with your twisting blades like crazy. It's absolutely crazy, right? So anyway, another uh, important uh, aspect that you want to have is going to be the blast trapper, the blast trapper aspect which is that when you deal direct damage to enemies affected by your trap skills has up to 75 75 chance to make them vulnerable and so on and so on right so anyway the aspects that which i already mentioned which are blade dancer aspect uh, aspect of bursting venoms accelerating aspect and ashera uh, ashera kanjar uh, sacred unique item are like your main aspects that you want to have to make this absolutely powerful other things that you can add to the build to make it also very strong could be the aspect of nauseous eyes because when you chill enemies poison, uh, poisoned by poison imbuement will be further chill for 20 seconds uh, and you deal 25 percent additional poison damage to frozen enemies right but this makes no sense Toad. what does this aspect have anything to do with the build well if you get also the Penitent Gre Greaves Ancestral Unique Boots, you leave a trail of frost that chills enemies and you deal 8% more damage to chilled enemies. But at the same time, if you go to your abilities and you go ahead and you put the Frigid Finest uh, passive, then you deal 15% increased damage to chilled enemies. This bonus, is, this bonus increases 30% against frozen enemies. So if you're standing next to a boss or... Uh, next to a lot of mobs well they're gonna get chilled 
plus you're using your pet poison and build and it's just it's just a lot of synergy a lot of damage and it just makes sense right so anyhow you don't really need those two this is just complementary to the current build but i think you kind of start to understand how this works anyway uh so just to re reiterate i'm sorry english my second language but uh just to reiterate the main stats that you want are lucky lucky hitchens and uh critical strike chance so you can always be activating that uh, poison pool as much as you can now secondary main uh, stats that you want is going to be critical strike damage and vulnerability damage Apart from that, uh, those two things, everything else is up to you. You can add uh, different aspects on, the, on different uh, parts of your armor as how you see fit. Nevertheless, I'm going to be leaving on the description the link to d4build.gg so you can see exactly how my build is. And, uh, and I will also leave it on the comment section below. Moving on to uh, our abilities. So as I mentioned, we're going to start with... Uh, we're taking puncture as our basic uh, it's very straightforward um our core skill is going to be twisting blades we're taking both passives symphony strikes and sturdy and then on our agility so we're taking a uh, shadow step and dash on shadow step we're going all the way to method methodical shadow step and on our dash we go all the way to enhanced dash for that 15 percent increased trick critical strike damage then on our subterfuge skills we're taking poison traps only and purely so we can um activate that aspect that gives us that 52 percent increased uh, chance to make an our enemies vulnerable and we're also taking our exploit and our malice passive also i forgot here on the agility skills where we'll be taking weapon mastery uh passive as well uh, also, I'm sorry if I I'm trying I'm talking super fast. I just want to make the video as short as possible, and I realize that sometimes I I go too long. So anyway, moving to our imbuement skills. Well, clearly the focus is on poison imbuement, so we're gonna go all the way to blended poison imbuement because uh, critical strikes uh, with poison imbuement skills deal 75% increased poisoning damage, right? So because we have our critical strike chance high, that's exactly what we want. We want to be doing a lot of damage. We're taking also the three passive of poison, which is deadly venom, uh, debilitating toxins, and alchemical advantage. And lastly, we're taking on this section the free ditch finance, as I just explained earlier the reason why. Then here on our ultimate skills we are not taking any ultimate skills but we will be taking the trap mastery because when we drop our poison trap we get that 12 percent increased critical strike chance against vulnerable and crowd control enemies and also we want to have our innovation one point in there because there's really not a lot of uh well of point left and you really want to have a, your points on second wind because every 100 energy you spend grants you 15 percent increase lucky hit chance for five seconds so that's definitely something you want to have and then lastly on our key passives you can take uh you can take victimize if that's what you what you want but i am personally going for momentum because due to or helmet not having a defensive aspect i find myself a little bit squishy sometimes so momentum gives me that 20 percent uh uh increased damage reduction right everything else uh, also for the movement speed and and the little extra things that it gives me but really that would be up to you i would recommend you to either go for close quarter combat because it also gives you that 30 percent increased attack speed but i believe that 50 percent attack speed that we already get for the two aspects is more than enough but you could go for that one or you could go for victimize as i mentioned earlier um moving on to our paragon the main uh glyphs that we want to take is going to be efficacy because it gives us that imbuement skill effects have 20 percent increased potency so it makes sense since our build is focused on that poison imbuement and then we're gonna be taking a or combat glyph to get that uh core skill still 7.5 increased critical strike damage and critical strikes uh yeah critical uh, strikes restore 12 percent of our energy cost uh the um sorry the paragon board that we're taking is the exploit weakness uh paragon board because it gives us that damage to elite gives us the vulnerable damage and also gives us 
that rare node of vulnerable damage as, as well, which is solid. Like this, I feel like this Paragon uh, board is, is such a strong Paragon board. Then on the next Paragon board, we're taking the Conin Stratage Paragon board, but we're not actually talking the legendary node. Uh, we're just using it to pass through because uh, on this glyph, we're putting the exploit glyph that when we attack an enemy, we make them vulnerable for three seconds. But the cool thing about this little part is that we are, we can go th you know quickly through with it, and we get some very nice red notes, which are the dominant that gives us twenty eight percent core skill damage, and also we get that uh, finisher that gives another twenty eight percent core skill damage, and lastly we get that low list for that extra little armor. But then down here we go for. Another Paragon board, which is the Eldritch Bounty, that when you attack with a, with an imbued skills, you gain 20% resistance and 20% increased damage for that imbuement element uh, for 6 seconds. So I think you, you see the synergy here on why we're taking that. Also, I'm level 87, so I still can put a lot more points here. And one of them is here, that imbued rare node, which gives us that 30% skill damage. And also, we want to try and go for... Where, where is it? uh non-physical uh, yeah yeah there here it is but sorry yeah so we also want to go down a little bit and we should be able to go all the way there just to get that extra um a rare note that is just complementary to or imbued attacks anyhow that's pretty much it i'm pretty sure i cover everything and just little last tip i guess make sure that your your most important aspect that has the much damage you put it on the crossbow since it doubles the the effect right so with that being said i put blade dancer on my crossbow to get that double effect and yep that's it if you have any questions please uh, leave a comment and if you like the video uh, you can drop a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next one torres signing out